In this video, we're going to show you how to get shaders in Minecraft in 2022. We're going to go over every single step of downloading shaders packs, which is actually what shaders is, and installing Optifine, which is required in order to run shaders. It's all going to be covered in depth in this video. And by the time you're finished, you're going to have amazing shaders like the ones you're seeing on your screen right now. However, first, this video is sponsored by Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server, running any version of Minecraft that you want. From the newest version, that comes out in 2022, the one that's out right now, 1.18.1, you can start a server with Apex on any of those for you and your friends. We love just Apex so much, we also are on server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them, so check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyc slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, you want shaders, so let's go ahead and get it. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is actually our top 10 shaders packs for Minecraft, but guess what? We're always adding in more shaders packs to this list. It's 10 right now. When you get here, it might be 20. Who knows? But this is a list of amazing shaders shaders packs. You need shaders packs to run shaders. Basically, the shaders pack is the shaders itself. Optifine is what is used to run those shaders packs. One thing I do want to mention though, at the top of this page is a tutorial. Now, the tutorial you're watching right now should work for all of 2022, but if for whatever reason it stops working, guess what? That link in the description, that second link down below that takes you to this page, this tutorial right here is always going to be up to date to the most recent version of Minecraft. So right now that's 1.18, but when you're watching this, it might be 1.20 or 1.21, for example. And in that case, guess what? This tutorial up here will be updated to that version to help you out. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and scroll down and download some shaders packs from, again, the second link down below. Now, I love all of these packs, but there's two I'm going to install today because they're kind of my favorites. One is BSL Shaders. I don't know why, I just love this pack, so we're going to go ahead and right-click on the download and click on open a new link. You, uh, don't have to do that. You can just click on it if you want, and we're also going to go ahead and grab Beyond Belief Shaders. This is actually based on Sonic Ether's Shaders Packs. I don't know, I just like it, so we're gonna get it. So go ahead and click on that green download button. And that takes us off to the download page here. Now in some cases, you may be taken to a specific how-to page for that specific version, or that specific Shaders Pack, like Chocopic here, right? And if that's the case, scroll down and click on the yellow download button. Otherwise, you'll be taken to that Shaders download page. Beyond Belief here is hosted on Curse Forge, where you wanna come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down. Now, most of the time, Shaders don't need to be updated with new versions of Minecraft. For for example, this 1.17 version of this shader pack will work in 1.18, so we can go ahead and download that without any problem. That's most likely going to be true for, for example, a 1.19 version in 1.20, or a 1.18 version in 1.19. Does that make sense? Shaders don't necessarily have to be the most recent version of Minecraft to work perfectly. Nevertheless, the download has started here and it is finished. It's going to download the bottom left. For BSL shaders, it's going to take you here where you want to go ahead and select BSL shaders and then click on download on the basically menu bar right here. Scroll down from there and you'll be able to click this download. And this one is for 1.18.1, actually just updated today. When the download does start and it will finish and it's actually hosted on CurseForge as well. And there we go. It's downloaded in the bottom left. Now there's one more thing we need to download. And by the way, all shaders packs are installed the same way. So if you don't want to install one that's on our list, you've got another one. Guess what? That's fine. This video is still going to work. However, we do need Optifine no matter what. Optifine is a, well, think of it as like Forge for shaders. Forge is the mod loader that allows Minecraft mod to work. Optifine is the shader loader that allows shaders to work. To get this, you want to go to the third link down below. That's going to take you here. And just like with getting shaders, getting Optifine, this tutorial right here is always going to be up to date to the most recent version of Minecraft. But once you're here, go ahead and scroll down and click on the green download Optifine button. That's going to take us to Optifine's official download page where we want to find the version of Optifine for the version of Minecraft that you want to install. Like I said, right now that's Minecraft 1.18. But for you, might be 1.19, might be 1.20, doesn't matter. But you want to come under that version version and click on the mirror button, this mirror link next to the Optifine version. The reason we're clicking mirror is it's going to bypass an ad. Nevertheless, once you're here, you're going to be taken to the official download page for the version of Optifine you're getting. In our case, 1.18.1. Go ahead and click on that purple download button there and the download will begin in the bottom left. It will most likely need to be kept in the bottom left of your screen. For some reason, uh, it's not asking me to keep jar files anymore. I wish it was, but it's not. So you'll need to keep that in the bottom left. You may also need to save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox, but it's 100% safe to do so. Over 100 million people at this point have downloaded Optifine. We can now go ahead and minimize our browser, and we want to get those files we downloaded, our shaders packs and Optifine, to our desktop. To do that, you want to click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, or in the center of your screen on Windows 11. Click on that little Windows icon, and then go ahead and type in downloads. You have this download downloads file folder here. Open that up and in here you will find Optifine as well as any shaders packs that you've downloaded. Drag this to your desktop just for ease of use. 
Once these are on your desktop, I'm going to kind of outlay them here, right? Like so. The first thing we're going to do is actually start off with Optifine, right? To do that, we want to go ahead and right click on Optifine. Now, if Optifine looks different for you than it does for me, or if your shaders packs look different for you than it does for me, that's okay. Let's continue on. We're going to show you how to fix a lot of that as the video goes on here. Now, let's just go ahead and first see if we can open up Optifine. To do that, you want to right click on it, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. This thing going to open up the Optifine installer, unless you don't have Java. When you right click and open with, if Java's not here, I'm going to show you how to fix that. Or if you do have Java here and you click OK and it doesn't work, I'm going to show you how to fix that as well. And that's fixed with the exact same thing. All the issues with opening up Optifine are fixed with Java. You need to download and install Java, specifically Java 17 at the time I'm recording this, but it might be Java 18 in the future. If that's the case, guess what? That link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Java is going to be up to date to the most recent version of Java that is required for Minecraft. In our case right now, that is Java 17. So go through this tutorial. It's going to show you exactly how to download and install it. Simple three steps. Basically, you just uh, click on this link and select Windows, right? Click on this link, select Windows, and then you want to download the x64 installer by clicking there. Run that and you'll be good to go. Now, for most people, that is going to fix your issue, but Optifine still may look weird, right? It may look not correct. It might not look like a jar file. In that case, you want to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the .jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work perfectly. After you've ran the jar fix and gotten Java, you got to get Java before you run the jar fix or the jar fix won't work. We can finally right click on Optifine, click on open with, click on Java and click OK. At this point, it should open up the Optifine installer. If it doesn't, you need to go uninstall all versions of Java except Java 17 and the apps and features program right there. Go in there, uninstall all versions of Java except Java 17, and you'll be good to go. Nevertheless, with Optifine open, we can go ahead and simply click install. It's then going to install Optifine, and boom, there we go. Optifine is successfully installed. Awesome stuff. Go ahead and click OK, and it will close out of the Optifine installer, and you can actually delete Optifine from your desktop. If you do have any issues there when you try to click install on Optifine, you need to go play the version of Minecraft that you're trying to install Optifine for. So in this case, 1.18.1, you would need to go play Minecraft 1.18.1 with no mods. If you're on 1.19, play 1.19, 1.20, play 1.20. You get the idea. You want to play the version of Minecraft that you're trying to install Optifine for. Now let's go ahead and get these shaders packs installed. To do that, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And then in the Minecraft launcher, we want to select the Optifine profile. Now you may have an Optifine profile automatically, and if you don't, I'm going to show you how to create one. However, Optifine Launcher is uh, taking a second to upload or uh, open for me, which occasionally happens, so give me a quick jump cut. All right, so the Minecraft Launcher is now opening. The reason I had to do a jump cut there was because my internet went out. That'll occasionally happen for me. It's uh, nothing to do with Optifine. You may need to select and go through this. Most likely you won't have to, but if you do, that's how you can do it. Nevertheless, once we're here, go ahead and click Let's Play, and it'll let you right on into the Minecraft Launcher, but uh, you, you shouldn't have to do that. That is most likely just me. Nevertheless, once you're on the Minecraft Launcher here, you want to make sure this Optifine profile is selected. If it's not, click on this little arrow next to the Play button and select Optifine. As long as it says the version of Minecraft you're wanting to play under it, and then dash Optifine, you're going to hit Play, and then hit Play again. Minecraft is then going to open up with Optifine installed. But if you don't have Optifine here or it's not the right version under it, what you want to do is go up here to installations and then you want to go ahead and make sure modded is checked on the right hand side. As you can see, we unchecked modded and Optifine disappeared. We check it and hey, look at that, there is Optifine. Click play, click play again. But if you still don't have Optifine or that version is wrong, you want to go ahead and click on new installation here. You can name whatever you want, but I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. That's our incredible Minecraft server that's up to date to the newest version. So you want to make sure you come play on it. It's got survival, it's got skyblock. We're going to be testing our shaders on it a little later in this video. Nevertheless, though, once you've got that in there, we want to go ahead and click on the version drop-down box, and this is the important part. Make sure you select release 1.18.1 Optifine. If you don't have this here at all, scroll down, make sure it's not at the very, very bottom. And if it's still not there, delete that Optifine profile that we had earlier. I'm guessing it was the wrong version, and then you should be good to go. So let's go ahead and click on release 1.18.1 Optifine, and then we want to change the resolution. You don't have to, but I'm doing that so we can see once we get in game. Finally, we can click create in the bottom right, and we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile that most importantly has 1.18.1 Optifine under it. Once we've got that, we can hover over it, click the green play button, confirm we're playing modded Minecraft, and click play again. Now Minecraft's going to open up with Optifine installed, and from here, it's super easy to install shaders packs. Beyond Belief Legacy and BSL shaders will both be installed here within a minute, guaranteed. However, if you're installing another shaders pack, the process is exactly the same as well. Here we have Minecraft opening up, and once we're on the Minecraft main menu, it's super simple. So let's just go ahead and do a quick jump cut to there, or should I keep it running so you know I'm not playing any trickery? I think I'll do that, because it seems like it's frozen, and I don't want you to think that I'm doing some trickery. There you go. It goes right on into it. Once we're on the Minecraft main menu here, we want to go ahead and click on Options. Then we want to click on Video Settings, and then finally, we want to click on Shaders. Now, for me, Shaders opens up automatically. However, if you do have an issue, for example, you have like an anti 
anti-aliasing on, right? And you try to go into shaders, it's not going to work, right? It's just going to tell you to turn it off. If that's the case, it's pretty simple. It's telling you where to go. Go to quality, anti-aliasing, and set it to off, and then you'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and go to quality, anti-aliasing, set that to off, and then we'll be good to go. We can open up shaders. So again, from the main menu, click on options, video settings, shaders, and then we want to click shaders folder in the bottom left. So once you're in here, you're in shaders, click on shaders folder in the bottom left. That's then going to open up the shaders folder here. And then all we want to do is drag and drop these basically files we have into the shaders packs folder. So just take these and drag and drop them right on in here into shaders packs. Now, these will, if we come back to Minecraft, boom, there they are. Now, one thing I do want to mention is some people say they couldn't drag them into, like, Minecraft itself. That's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to click that shaders pack in the bottom left and drag and drop them into this folder. If you try to drag and drop them directly into Minecraft, it's not going to work. Nevertheless, though, once they're in here, you can close out of that shaders packs folder because here they are in the background. The only reason at this point activating these shaders won't work is, well, pretty simple. It's because you need to actually unzip the file. I would say about 90% of the time you don't need to do that, but... 10% of the time you do, and to do that, you just right click extract, and then you'll have other zip files that you can add in. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and select our shaders by just clicking on it. We'll start off with Beyond Belief Legacy, and when you click on it, Minecraft's gonna reload, and boom, shaders are active. There's also shaders options in the bottom right. You can tweak so many shader settings in here, as you can see, all sorts of different stuff can be changed. Go in there and change those if you'd like. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click done. And like I said, we're going to jump into the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, playdotbreakdowncraft.com, to check these out. Nevertheless, though, once we're in game, you'll be able to see right away, look at this. Shaders is active. Beyond Belief is absolutely amazing. You'll notice I like more white light shaders instead of yellow light shaders. And uh, yeah, this is definitely a white light sort of pack. And wow, I just, I love it. You can definitely, <laughs> every time I see this pack, I'm like, yep, I see why it's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm, 100%. <laughs> Nevertheless, let's go ahead real quick and we can hit escape, go into options, go into video settings, click on shaders, and you can actually switch shaders packs right in game. So let's do that, BSL shaders, clicked on it, and now it is selected. And you'll be able to notice it is a bit different. It's a bit more blue than it is white and uh, still looking good though. Man, I love these I love these two packs. These are my favorite. Anyway, there you have it. That is how you can add shaders and water does look very different there with BSL. That's how you can add shaders to Minecraft in 2022. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible Minecraft tutorials every single day of the week. We do awesome, awesome Minecraft stuff nearly every single day here, so be sure to subscribe for that. Nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. I'll see you in the next video, and I am out. Peace.